Hey guys, I'm sitting here with the Tech Vikings, Young. And uh, the thing is that I got myself a new computer that's sitting there, and I also got myself a laptop, and this is my old computer, and I actually have a question for those guys. I've been watching some of the YouTube videos, and it uh, seems like they know what they're doing. So, the question is, how much better is that computer compared to this one and this one? Yeah, so what we thought we would do is actually do some benchmarking on the different computers. Uh, both on the old one, the new RGB Beast, mm -hmm. and her sweet new laptop. Uh, so we started testing with like FutureMark, we benchmarked Far Cry, uh, Division, GTA. GTA, and PUBG. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna see all like the settings, some of the tests is even with uh, when you're actually doing streaming. Yep. Uh, so you can see what kind of computer you need to do that. Before we get into the benchmarks, let's have a quick look at the specs of the different computers. First out is the old computer, or the oldie as we'll call it from now on. Second one is the new main streaming setup, the RGB Beast, with a Ryzen 1800X 32 gigs of RAM and two GTX 1080 Ti's in SLI. This one tears through gaming and streaming like a breeze. Last but not least, the MSI GE63 Raider, a powerhouse you can bring with you wherever you go. Want to enjoy your favorite games on a train? Go for it! And now, let's take a look at some of the benchmarks. For the last two benchmarks we mix it up a little and include numbers while streaming. When you look at the numbers you might be thinking the old and the new computer perform somewhat equal, but don't be fooled. The old computer was choppy and dropping frames like crazy when streaming, which made for a poor experience for both the streamer and the viewers. This was not a problem with the RGB Beast, which was silky smooth with no dropped frames at all. Streaming GTA 5 is no problem with these computers, but you can see the Ryzen 1800X doesn't even break a sweat when streaming, barely taking a hit in FPS compared to the other systems. This is where the 8 cores in the RGB Beast really shines. On a side note, the MSI laptop is also doing great here, showing that you can stream less demanding games on the go with no real problems. Keep in mind that you might want to lower the settings a bit to hit the 60 FPS sweet spot on the minimums. This however did not help with the division without making it look really bad. So from all the tests, it looks like the RGB Beast came out best or? Yeah, as we could see from the, the results, the new computer is uh, much faster. Uh, you see higher frame rates and uh, also, when you're streaming, there's no stuttering at all, and the frame rates are a lot better. Yeah. Uh, and also, what's uh, good to see is the, the laptop is actually really good. It's almost as fast as uh, her old computer, uh, and that's also actually a pretty decent computer. So, she can actually game when she's on holiday, even though she never, she never is. <laughs> if you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. If you really enjoyed it, go down and subscribe. I I am already subscribed, so I'll see you there. <laughs>